Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 24th. So, this reading is not time specific, really, and it's not sign specific, so it may or may not be for you. Um, this is just like a daily energy, and I ask you to have an open perspective. Not every reading is what you think it is, okay? Look beyond what you hear. Look beyond the words, okay? There could be a deeper meaning, and you're missing it if you are thinking only along one line, okay? So, really be open-minded about what you hear in you know, it, it will resonate perhaps in a different way than what you perceive it to be. And that, that in itself is a message. What do we have for the 24th? got two. Wow. Well, we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Knight of Wands reversed. So this says financial setbacks, uh, foolhardy and restless. So we have somebody that may have acted like a fool and now there's some financial setback and now they're paying the price. Is this a, isn't this supposed to be in yesterday's reading? I mean, we got somebody here that probably has made some impulsive decisions and now they're in recovery mode or they need to recover. Um, this can mean so many different things, but this can, this also tells me that we have somebody here that is not um, working hard enough. It's like they're being foolish. They're not they're not putting in enough effort. Somebody could be lazy. You know, we could have somebody here that is being lazy and they need to get real. They need to get practical. There's like, there's a lack of ambition here. But you will not be successful if you don't find it. There isn't nobody going to do it for you. There isn't nobody going to take care of you but you. So we have somebody here that needs to take action. They're not taking action. Definitely a restless energy here. And, you know, it's it's causing financial woes, be, woes because somebody isn't really taking action. They're not doing what they need to do. So somebody needs to find the discipline and the strength to really freaking buckle down here. An affair. An affair. Discord. The Three of Cups reversed. There's nothing to celebrate. This, there could be a loss of a relationship. There could be a loss of a relationship because somebody's not putting in a lot of effort. Somebody was acting foolishly. Somebody may have acted impulsively and maybe they got themselves involved with a third party situation. And a third party situation doesn't always have to be a lover. This can be, you know, somebody taking sides. Okay. This could be somebody at work, you know. There's there's like a gang up kind of thing. This could this could go so many ways, but it, there is some sort of friendship or relationship that is going south and it's not going in the right direction. It's that well, obviously it's not going in the right direction. There's definitely a loss of abundance, a loss of security here because of somebody's foolish ways. Mm, the world card reverse lack of closure somebody hasn't learned a lesson they haven't learned their lesson yet somebody is maybe somebody definitely has acted foolishly they're not very wise or they didn't act in a wise manner and they may be feeling like something is incomplete as well there's unfinished business Unfinished business. Imagine that. Ooh, 
dissatisfaction. We got somebody here that is very, very unhappy about something that has ended or something that didn't come to fruition. It didn't lead to anything stable. They, somebody acted very foolishly and now they're definitely not happy about it. Definitely not happy about it. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. Oh, my God. Laziness, boredom. Did we talk about this already? I think we probably did. Huh. Somebody's laziness has brought them some sort of dissatisfaction. And something probably has ended because somebody didn't do what they were supposed to do. Somebody's not, it's like they don't have anything to celebrate because there's no, there's no success here. The world card upright is success. Something did not end successfully. It was a third party situation by the looks of things. Some sort of relationship where, you know, somebody was invested with somebody they shouldn't have been invested with, obviously. Hmm. Ooh. The Empress, nurturing creativity. This is a new growth, a new opportunity. This is somebody that is very wise, that does have a lot of knowledge. A life experience kind of knowledge. Hmm. This is a Taurus or a Libra. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius up here. Doesn't have to be. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody definitely was not acting in a practical manner at all. This person is very... Um, this person knows their value, knows their worth. This is also a mother, so I wonder if this has to do with a mother or, the, or a wife. Somebody, and, and she will turn her back on any third party situation. So probably, looks to me, she doesn't involve herself in third party situations. So if you have involved yourself in a third party situation and you are a woman, you are not the empress. And I am here to pop your bubble instantly. Pop. The empress does not involve herself in third party situations. Period. So anyway, um, hopelessness. Somebody is feeling hopeless and really dissatisfied. Maybe they gave up their empress status to get involved in a third party situation and now they're feeling like a fucking idiot. That sounds just about right, don't it? For somebody. Anyhow, that's the truth. For somebody. Thank God I... I am truly the Empress now. I don't have to worry about that shit. Been there, done that. Not ever again. All right. Avoiding responsibility. Well, son of a bitch. Wow. 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 I can't even, I cannot even believe this shit. We have somebody that lacks integrity. Somebody was just trying to be taken care of, right, by a somebody, and somebody, you know, taken care of in a motherly way, please take care of me, and somebody fell for it, and now they're on their own because it didn't lead to any success, <laughs> damn, was that stupid, strength, compassion, this person is finding the strength to let go of this third party situation. N finding their worth, finding their value. We have somebody that has gained strength through suffering and pain and stupid decisions. <laughs> they may be feeling hopeless. They may be feeling really dissatisfied with you know, the decision that they made, the impractical decision, and, and they were avoiding, you know, the responsibility of what this was going to cause, but I think now they can't avoid it. Um, domination, the emperor reversed. Wow. 
we have we definitely have somebody here that um, was trying to control trying to con definitely trying to control we have somebody that was trying to control another person and I feel like they they weren't able to control this person so they got involved in cell in some sort of third party situation to fulfill themselves you know some sort of foolish encounter out of control out of ego out of pride and now they have regrets for doing so they didn't want to be held accountable or they don't want to be held accountable, but now they have to both be held accountable. So now they feel it hopeless because it's like they probably want to go back to the one that took care of them, the one that loved them, the one that nurtured them, but they're feeling hopeless about the situation because they didn't act with integrity. They acted foolishly when they should have just taken some time to focus on themselves. So I feel like today, somebody is going to get some sort of new perception. You remember how I started this reading out? I said they're going, you know, look at it, you know, in a different way. <laughs> I got to show you what's on the bottom. The moon reversed. It's not what you perceive it to be. Somebody is about to get enlightened about what they had by the looks of things or they're going to get get enlightened about the foolish decision that they made today is a day of it looks to me as though it's a day of dealing with your pride dealing with your ego seeing the truth the truth being revealed. I feel like today is ever is some sort of reality check. I feel as though somebody may want to come back to heal with their soulmate, but you know, their their previous domination has made them feel hopeless like this there's this person will never take me back this person has grown strong through their pain and suffering this person has gained a lot of confidence this person has done a lot of healing this person um is has gone through a period of time where they had to deal with their pain and they've just gained so much strength that, that this person feels like there's nothing they can do they feel like there's not, and that's why they're not coming. This person feels like they can't. They can't. Anyway, I feel like this is a day of, well, the moon reversed. This is seeing the truth, seeing the light, seeing the light, finding the strength to remain in control, finding the strength to know your value, know your worth, and hold your head up high and not allow yourself to be controlled you know this is a definitely about control this person she she doesn't she's totally 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 knows her worth totally she knows her value and I feel like we have somebody over here that is lacking closure with this person this person has now delivered okay this person is stronger than they were before after a third party situation so a third party situation has made this given this person the experience and the strength to persevere and it's like this person the whole time was trying to dominate but now it's like they want to go back there's no clue they want closure there they may say this is incomplete there's unfinished business i was foolish i shouldn't have done that i was stupid they may say something like that I don't know if that portion is for you, but I also feel as though we have, it's not just a male here. There's a, there's a male and a woman that have both made very foolish decisions by somebody who really doesn't, I mean, in, by somebody, there is somebody in this predicament that isn't really Well, I don't see any love in these cards, put it that way. This person, and there isn't. 
this person is all about control. This person is all about domination. This person doesn't want to be responsible. This person just wants to be taken care of. And I feel like somebody gets this realization that that's what this is. So anyway, um, we may have somebody here that is, you know, Well, let's get one more card for the bottom right here. One more card. One more card. Somebody has been really doing a lot of healing. And it's like now, we got. I think there's somebody that wants to come back. Or they want another chance. Or they're thinking about going back. Or, you know. Somebody is really, really... This person is really dissatisfied with and overwhelmed with this loss, emotional disappointment. So we do have somebody here that is overwhelmed with the with the fact that this person has finally healed by the looks of things. Um, skill, the magician, somebody has to shed the old. We have somebody here that has shed the old and this person wants to take back control. It's like this person over here has found their resources, their strength, their self-love, their self-worth, everything that they need to be successful and this person is like what this person has gained the skills this person has gained the skills and this person <laughs> I think I feel like this person doesn't want this doesn't want this person to well, you think about the magician. The magician sheds the old to bring in the new. So, it looks to me as though... And this person takes action to bring success. So, I think this person is thinking... This, this person is also thinking about taking action to heal this situation with this person who has turned their back on this third party situation. I'm better off on my own. I can take care of myself. Fuck you. Excuse my language. Anyway, that's what I got. Good luck. Be prepared to deal with the whole situation in the near future.